passing, catching reaction. I've been passing like shit the last few weeks, so I'm just trying to sharpen it back up. I love that preparation early in the week, doing that extra stuff that no one sees. I always want to feel like I'm the hardest worker in the room. Trying to wake up my senses, I try to sort of blur my vision. So I'm not looking at one light, I'm sort of looking here and just reacting really as quick as I can. I feel like between passes and, and stuff, it just helps sharpen me up. And then I'm just trusting my eyes to pick up what I need to see. Yeah, my extra passing sessions are around just for me to a little feel good thing, warms my body up, but it's also around sharpening the axe. I don't want to work on just things that I need to work on, I want to work on my strengths as well, and the key to my game is my pass. I need to do it regularly to feel good about it. Coming in's easy when it, all the momentum's going. But when I turn back here, I think I get stuck, and then I'm just like, Ugh. oh my God. in a bit of a rut with it at the moment, but always chasing that perfect feeling of a pass coming out clean. Just love that feeling of trying to always get better. Like, it can always feel better, it can always come out better. Thanks, right. And always chasing that perfect game. My preparation from 2011 to now is drastically different in the sense of everything. Getting here early, planning for trainings, planning how I want to be as a captain, what, what are the key messages I want to say, how I train and my focus at training. So trying to have a bit of fun when it's time to have fun. You're literally getting shit for not having a top today. <laughs> Everyone's, you and Chop. But then also being serious and locked in when it's time to keep it locked in. Yes. For me, it's around my mentality, around my fitness and my body. I was fit in that when I first joined the Highlanders in 2011, but I could play at this level, but I couldn't dominate or I couldn't push the boundaries of my endurance. I'd never really tapped that area ever. So I went from surviving and getting through to trying to push myself to absolute max at any effort. Now in the gym or rower or on the bike or in the weights, I'll push guys if I feel like they're not pushing themselves. Go, two more now. Two more, get ten, nine, yes. One more, one more. Give me more. Nice and slow, and you got this. Fight out of the bottom. Go, 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 go. And then I think that's where I think I gain a lot of respect. Trying to be one of the fittest, if not the fittest. Trying to push myself to absolute max at any effort. I want my team to know that when it gets hard, I'll always be there. They can rely on me. It's really important for me to know the game plan, know my role within it. You're being a genuine threat so that we can manipulate this fella to come out here further to put him through an easier hole a five-and-a-half-metre hole as opposed to a two-metre wall. I'm in the attack group in the Highlanders, and so for us, it's around coming up with good strike moves. About time we score off the safe. We've had it in there for a month. Being a game driver, nines and tens, it's around know my role as a nine, who I'm hitting. So I feel like my job is to keep the forwards calm, make sure they get the call, and make my tens feel as comfy as possible and execute what they want me to. Get our detail tonight. We test it a little bit faster tomorrow. And get it in our brain, okay? Let's get really excited about this. There's some cool moves there. Backs and forwards. Oh. 
<laughs> it's the hits with Doug and P live and local around Dunedin. It's coming up eight o'clock. We've got a very special call to make with Aaron Smith coming up after eight. Come on through. So we've got Cam, 21, huge rugby player that loves it. Is he's, he a runner or what's the go? No, he's still getting chemotherapy, um, but he's at home and his, um, he's doing really, really well. Mate, you yeah. too, mate. I saw you at the game, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, mate, look like you're in the zone. I saw you at the game, you're in the zone too. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying. This is him here, Cam, Cameron, Wyndham, Tokanui. So they've done heaps of fundraising for him. I thought it'd be kind of cool for you to go, I'd like, as you'll like, invite him to the game from yep. you, yep. and that he'll be sitting on the beach with the team. We've got a jersey for you and see what happens. Yeah. For me, the, the radio station stuff, that's what it's all about, giving back to the people, connecting. We're not just rugby players, we can be good human beings as well. This is quite embarrassing. This is what makes their jobs worthwhile doing stuff like this. It's always not that much fun saying, I'm Aaron Smith, how are you? You never know what... Oh, Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you Who? Like, yeah, yeah, what? Uh... <laughs> I play rugby. Oh, yeah. Today, For who? Yeah. At the Highlanders, we want to have that gratitude with our fans. We are their team, and I drive that hard for us at the Highlanders. Our um, little town love us, so we've got to be good back. Hi, right, Cameron speaking. What's up, Cam? It's Aaron Smith here, bro. What's going on? Oh, how are you going on? Not much, man. You know which Aaron Smith it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can tell by your voice, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Hey, I was nervous you were going to go. Who the hell is that? <laughs> nah. Hey, uh, mate, um, yeah, I hear you're going through a bit of a rough time at the moment, and um, I just want to invite you to the Highlanders game on Friday, but you're also going to sit on the bench and um, you get to experience it close up. Oh, are you joking? Nah, no jokes here, brother. It's a pretty special game for myself, so I'll be um, pretty excited to have you in my corner. Yeah, cheers, mate. Cheers. Chins, chins. Chins, chins.